Hey everyone, it's Melissa. I am so excited to do this video. I do it every year. And that is uh, what we are all buying, including my kids and Doug and myself and my daughter-in-law's parents, what we as a family are buying our grandkids. I've made a list. Uh, and I just think I love doing this because that I can it's easy for us to pick out okay you buy this you buy this you buy this um, they work the my kids have worked with their kids what do you really want to you know be real thoughtful about it we start early think about it um, you know pick some things that you really would like to have what you would be interested in plus then my daughter and daughter-in-law both research things that they think that are surprises that the kids would be interested in. And it always, it's just always a really good, they're always really good ideas and really good presents, I have to say. My daughter and daughter-in-law do a really good job of this. So I do like to put it on an Amazon list. So uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the things in there. Now I have, I still have everything in that list from years gone past. I think this is about the third year I've done it. And from every year, it's still all in there just for ideas. And if some of it may be available still, some of it may not be available still, but I just add to it every year. Uh, eventually, I'll start taking off the ones at the bottom. Uh, to put it in perspective, I have seven grandchildren I have five granddaughters aging in range from two 13-year-olds to 11-year-olds, a nine-year-old. Okay, so that's five. And then two grandsons. And my grandsons are, let's see, my grandsons are seven and nine. So <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a big variety. And so the presents have grown over the years, over the past three years, the, the presents have gotten a little older. So it's kind of interesting for me to see. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about a few of them and then I will link that Amazon link down below where they're all put together and then you can look at them. So I'm gonna follow along with things that I've already purchased and things that my daughter and daughter-in-law have purchased. So my first one is Lego Series 16 minifigures. Uh, for the Lego set. And these are, this This is for one of my grandsons. He wanted this. He figured out that he has lots of blocks, you know, to build things with, but he doesn't have little figures. He doesn't have little people in it. So these are the 16 mini figures that he can use to build sets and, you know, things like that for his Lego set. So he wanted that. Uh, the next one are some Farland, and that sells for $10.88. The next one are Farland sleeping bags. Several of the kids wanted sleeping bags. Uh, this was my son's children. I think all of them wanted sleeping bags. They want to go camping uh, in the spring, and so they wanted some, you know, some sleeping bags. They sell for $39.99 each, and there's different colors, and like one of them's a camo, camo one's a green, and so different uh, patterns for them to use for when they want to go camping. That was really important to them to get a sleeping bag to go fa family camping in the spring. The next one is uh, my, my son's two daughters want a, it's a beginner sewing machine. They're 11 and 13 to start sewing. Their other grandmother uh, sews beautifully and she's been teaching them to sew. They're also getting some material to practice on and to make things they have been wanting. They're all into their American Girl dolls. They have been making clothes and little, oh, sleeping blankets and little sleeping bags and, you know, just little things for their dolls. And they wanted a beginner sewing machine. So they're gonna share that. And then back to the Legos, the next one is a class. Okay, the sewing machine is $42.99 to share between the two girls. The next one is a Lego Classic Green, green Base Plate. So it's a, 
it's a plate that has the Lego Velcro type stuff on it so that you can build on it and it stands up better. So uh, my, one of my grandsons wanted that to build his Lego things. And also one of, the, uh, one of them wanted a Lego Ninjago Legacy Kai fighter. So you build your own fighter plane and uh, it has uh, the ninja action figures in it and it's 513 pieces for $31.99. So one of them is getting that and then I see we got another sleeping bag in there, modeling clay. Uh, one of my granddaughters just does a beautiful job modeling stuff and she's made little ornaments and she's made little people and she actually sells them. Uh, but she'll make a little tiny, for like a little miniature Christmas tree, she makes little tiny ornaments out of modeling clay. Well, my other granddaughter wants to start doing that too, her cousin, so uh, she's getting some modeling clay. Uh, I mentioned that they like uh, the modeling clay. This one sells for $19.99. I mentioned that they're all into their American Girl dolls, and uh, so one of them wanted a uh, little hangers to hang their doll clothes on that they make. So the hangers, the doll hangers, uh, sell for $13.99. Um, I taught one of my grandsons to play marbles. I taught him how to do the big ring and shoot your marble and, you know, we, we play games of marbles out in the dirt or, or we'll do it inside too, but it's more fun in the summertime when he and I do it outside in the dirt. So uh, he wants... Uh, a hundred, he said, he, I want a hundred marbles. Well, this one is a hundred and sixty marbles. And it is comes in a tin box by Toy Smith. I like it because it's old-fashioned, and then the tin box is old-fashioned too, and it keeps it all together. So, marbles, uh, $11.99. Okay, going along with that, this is another thing he wanted to, I just think this is so neat. It's $39.99. It's a wooden marbles run uh, building blocks learning construction game. Okay, so what it is, it comes with these construction pieces and you put the construction pieces together. They're made out of wood. Then you put marbles in it and it's like a marble racetrack. The marbles go through it and then they come out in different places. Like, you know, when you do miniature golf, how it goes through the different things and then the golf ball will come out. It's like that with marbles. So you build your course and then you put the marbles through and the marbles come out. I just thought that was the neatest thing. So he's going to love that. And that sells for $39.99. Okay, the... My granddaughter that likes to do the, you know, make the little figurines out of clay, uh, she's getting, this is for 1902. It's a make your clay charms. It comes with a little charm bracelet and then you can make little charms to put on it. And she has a charm bracelet that she just adores, but this one she can make her own charms and her own charm bracelet. And she is just going to be crazy about that. She's very precise. And likes things just so and she's going to love being able to make it just the way she wants it and that is 1902. the next one is a flower press a wooden flower press they uh spend a lot of time outside they they're not big neither family is big tv watchers just on special occasions so they spend a lot of time outside and they look at flowers and look at plants and stuff like that so um, getting one of them a flower press for $19.99. The next one, I, I just didn't quite understand this, but it, it's one of the ones that, that was requested. It's Fail Fix Two Dreamy Epic Color Style Makeup Doll. So you get the doll, and you can do their hair different colors, and you can put makeup on it. And you can do, like, bad makeup... And it, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to look at it. I've looked at it and I still don't understand it. And I watched a video and I still didn't understand it. Then it comes with a little mask. You can put the mask over the doll's face and it fixes the makeup. So it is fail fix. It's a makeover. You do makeovers on these on a doll. So you can do bad makeup. You can do good makeup. 
but you can put the mask on and fix the makeup. That's the best I've gotten out of it. I, I can't wait to see how that works. I'm buying that one. <laughs> my, 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 my daughter said, Me, uh, you have to buy that for with as much as you like makeup. You have to be the one that buys that one. And I said, okay, I will. And it is for $24.94. My granddaughter that is the knitter and my daughter put a special note on it. This thing is awesome. It's for $27.95. It is a yarn boss yarn bag. It has, it has pockets on the outside to put your scissors and all your things, you know, on the outside, little patterns, whatever you need on the outside. And she's a big knitter. Thank I'm so proud. But, uh, so it's got the pockets on the outside. Then you, it's got different compartments on the inside to put your yarn in. Then it's got grommets from the top that you can do your yarn out, the different colors of yarn out through the, the lid of the yarn boss and your yarn doesn't get tangled. I mean, I mean, I plan on getting back into my knitting. I'm gonna have to get me one of those too. $27.95. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really like that and she's gonna love it. She's, she's a knitter. Okay, and then the next one is, it's row wood. This is $39.99. Row wood, that's all one word, wooden DIY miniature dollhouse model kit. So you make your own little dollhouse. It is really cute. It looks like a conservatory. It looks like it's glass when it's all put together and you, it's got a little furniture in it. It's got a little birdhouse. It's got little flowers and it's just, it's just so cute. Um, and it's called Kathy. The one that they want is Kathy's Flower House. You can get different ones. You can get Kathy's Flower House, Kathy's Garden, or Miller's Garden, Sam's Study. You can get different rooms to build your own little dollhouse. But she wants the little conservatory. So uh, it is adorable. It's just got all the cute little accessories with it and everything. It's, it's really precious. So that sells for $39.99. So, uh, one of my grandsons is just very into Pokemon, and a lot of the little boys uh, at school, they, it's like baseball cards, they collect Pokemon cards, and so he has a book, he keeps them all organized, so we're getting him this, it's $24.42, 50 assorted Pokemon cards, and three of them are rare cards. He will, I mean, he knows which one are rare. He knows which one are the good ones, which one is, and the, we make a bunch of those, but I still want them anyway. And you know, he, he really has, and he has them all organized in his little book. It is, it is really precious. It comes with a little storage bag too. So that is for $24.42. And one last one is uh, one of the, my grandsons wants a Lego Technic Gateway Truck Building Kit. Uh, it's the older grandson, and he really likes to build things, and he really likes Legos. He really likes, you know, things like that, things that move, and building things. So he wants um, this truck. I guess it's a gateway truck. It's a truck that you build with Legos. It's, ooh, it's neat. Wow. That really is neat. So it's got a motor in it. It's got a pullback motor, tires, front bumper color scheme, stickers, that's what he wants. <laughs> so, and that sells for $15.99, that Lego, that truck, and it'll zoom, I guess it'll zoom all over the place. So anyway, those are some of the things that are in going to be in my Amazon list for grandkids. And I will link it down below. Um, I don't know if I can link just the individual grandchildren's list or if it just links the whole, all the lists together, but I will try to divide it up where it's only the grandchildren's list. So I hope this is really helpful. Um, you know, it's going to be a strange pr uh, Christmas. We'll probably be doing ours by Zoom, but that's okay. You know, we'll probably just do it all together, all at one time, opening our presents on Zoom and, you know, oh, thank you, you know, taking turns. Okay, it's your turn, it's your turn. So we can all see what everybody else got. But that doesn't lessen the enjoyment. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got some good ideas and I appreciate you watching so much. I really do. Good luck 
with your Christmas shopping, and uh, I really appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Take care. Love you all, and very, very happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow Americans. Love you all. Bye-bye.